whoa, wait a minute. We, I know, like, it looks different. They say the eyes of the Mona Lisa will follow you throughout the room. I don't know how you can experience this when the Mona Lisa is behind glass and plexiglass and gates. And when I don't think the museum is open for you to go look at it now. Maybe. I don't know. I've never seen it. Apparently it's not as big as I always thought it was. I thought it was this giant thing and apparently the canvas is rather small. But I don't want to talk about the Mona Lisa. I want to talk about the evil Mona Lisa. My parents loved art. When I was growing up, they loved art. They loved what they could afford. So if we were, say, at a craft fair, when it wasn't really called a craft fair, I don't know what it was called in the 70s, we were at some place where people who had long hair and were kind of stinky and were rolling their own cigarettes were selling things, my parents would take us to go see the thing. And if they liked a work of art, they would buy it for five bucks when five bucks was a lot of money or, you know, ten. They had their limits. So there was this pumpkin, a jack-o'-lantern. I'm not sure if, I don't know what it was. It was the evil Mona Lisa. My mother was giving it to a museum. That was settled. And then for months, in the entryway to my parents' house, this spooky, evil jack-o'-lantern hung just to the right of the front door. I was on the phone with a friend one night when I was at my parents' house, and I took the call outside because it troubled my father for people to be on the phone in his presence, even if those people were not his teenage son, but his grown son. And I turned because I thought someone was looking at me, and it turned out to be the evil jack-o'-lantern looking at me through the front door windows. And I thought, oh my gosh, she's looking at me from there. So I moved. I took a photo of it and sent it to a friend to see if she could help me. She's an art teacher. She loves and appreciates art. She can appreciate art that others don't. So she'll say, oh my gosh, I love the use of squares. Or, wow, look at all that yellow. And this is a sincere reaction she's having to it. So I thought she will help me. I sent her the photo and her question was, why do I have a feeling that it's looking at me all the way here, several hundred miles away? So apparently this was not anything like the Mona Lisa, this jack-o'-lantern, this pumpkin, this evil Mona Lisa. It could see people across multiple state lines. After hanging there a while as some kind of talisman, sort of like the evil eye, you put the evil eye up so that you give the evil eye back to anyone who might be giving it to you and bu -bu 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 -bu, it fixes it. I think that's what the evil jack-o'-lantern did because it could see anything, it could see anyone, and it kept evil away while being itself the embodiment of evil. What I wouldn't give for a nice meal out right now.